Affordable housing has become a growing issue in Chattanooga. An event at Walden Club addressed how the lack of affordable housing has caused many to become unsheltered. Karen Aguilar tells us what was done to help the homelessness crisis. Karen. Mary Francis, the Chattanooga Regional Homeless Coalition had a fundraiser this evening. It's the second one of its kind. The proceeds will go towards things like rent and other resources to keep people sheltered. A silent auction with items ranging from paintings to an adorable poodle to address the growing homelessness crisis in Chattanooga. A large rise of families with children living in their vehicles. We're also seeing children in the encampments now. Um, and a lot of those families won't reach out for assistance. Assistance, Mike Smith, executive director of the Chattanooga Regional Homeless Coalition, says they desperately need. For him, being unsheltered hits close to home. My oldest memory was being homeless, disconnected, people thinking that people didn't care. Um, being less than, unwanted, um, and then that's also I, what I hope to do in my career is to show that any person experiencing homelessness, they're a whole human. People like Cole Gass want to help bidding for this bull. People out there, they're not always able to help themselves get on their feet. They need the help. The Chattanooga Regional Homeless Coalition says homelessness has doubled in the last year and increased 500% in the last five years. What are some of the concerns that the homeless population, from your perspective, are seeing here in Chattanooga? The largest is lack of affordable housing. I think that those people don't have like a strive to get anywhere else and that they are okay just being where they're at, and that's just not the case. Smith hopes this event makes a true difference for those experiencing homelessness. I carry that trauma with me through my life, and that's one of the things that we're hoping to do at the coalition is stop that trauma early on. Smith says at the end of the night they raised over $9,000. However, they are still accepting donations. We have that link on our website. Reporting live in the studio, Karen Aguilar, Local 3 News.